Hi Rafikis, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Etienne Jacobs, long time no see. This is my first video for the year 2020 and I'm sorry it took me so long, but I'm finally able to do this video. It's been a very hectic start of the year for me. If you know me, you know I own a flower shop called Karibu Flowers. So my priority for the year, beginning of the year anyways, was just to get all my stuff in order for Valentine's Day, which is the biggest holiday for us florists. So I had to focus all of my attention on that. And now that we're done with that, I can finally get back to my YouTube schedule of producing two videos for you guys per month and just creating this amazing content for you. Sorry. Um, Komang is in the house playing with Prince and I just need to sort of supervise and make sure that they don't eat each other up. Anyways, so welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. This is the first year for 20, uh, first video for 2020. So I'm probably expected to do the mandatory compliments of the new year. Happy new year. Guys, I wish you all the best for 2020. It's going to be a good year. I can feel it and I'm sending you positive vibes, positive energy, and I hope that you are able to achieve and accomplish everything that you set out to do for this year. So today's video, today's video, I will be showing you Oh, this command okay let me quickly handle command and i'm gonna come back and we'll get this video uh, let me get back to what the video is about today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys i'm going to be showing you how my powder room turned out so i started this project last year and we had to stall it because there were some items that i needed to uh ship in that i couldn't find and so it took much longer than expected powder our powder room is really small a powder room basically is guest toilet uh, so guest toilet guest bathroom but excluding the bath and the shower and ours was really ugly it was just not representative of who i am who i aspire to be it was just mm -mm. it was not our best foot forward guys and uh, it just didn't fit with the rest of the house it was just one of those things it was almost like an afterthought i think the builders were like oh yeah we should probably put a guest toilet in here and then they did that and i didn't like the finishes it didn't have any storage it didn't have a mirror in there and uh -uh. so i decided you know what i'm going to work on this i'm going to find some inspiration i went online found some inspiration thought about what i wanted for thought about the intention uh, that i wanted in how the ambience basically in the atmosphere that i wanted to create inside the powder room so once i identified that i then set out to consult my my joiner joe and were able to draw something up he was able to do the the, the vanity for me and then i had to find now all the fixtures and the accessories that i want and i'm one of those people if i want something i'm going to get it here so i shopped i went through all the hardware stores here in Vintok in Namibia i couldn't find anything that i liked i really wanted a gold faucet and i wasn't willing to compromise on that so i went to uh, check south african shops couldn't find anything in south africa either and then I went online and I was able to find a faucet on Amazon finally. So I'm going to link it down in, 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 the, in the description below and you'll be able to see what I got. And I'm really happy with what I got. So it took some time, obviously, now having to get the stuff from Amazon, uh, shipped, uh, Amazon UK shipped to here. I used uh, my lady, uh, I used, I used um, Morningstar, her business called UK to Names. So she was able to ship that in for me, as well as my doorknobs. So I was able to get exactly what I wanted. Although I t it took much longer than expected, I had to wait a little bit, but I'm very happy with the outcome. So basically, today's video, oh, I'm talking too much. I'm actually getting tired. But today's video is basically, I'm just going to show you guys what that turned out, the process. Uh, I didn't record the process because it took so long, but I'll show you how it looks like, um, some of the things that I did to decorate it and style it and make it look pretty, uh, the features, and I'm also going to insert, like I said, a video of how it used to look like, so you can see how dodgy it actually looked. I had no choice but to change that bathroom, that toilet. So that's that. Uh, and then just, I, I actually made some notes here just to explain to you um, uh, what is this? Um, there's just the constant behind the powder room. So the powder room is often a very small uh, area in our houses. Uh, if you're fortunate to have a powder room, aka guest toilet, then uh, because it's so small, you can really make an impact with it. So the idea, what the experts say anyways, is that you must do something really bold. And by bold, they mean like go crazy with colors, with textures, with patterns. Unfortunately, I didn't have the budget to go crazy with like a bold, pr a bold print wallpaper. I just didn't have the budget for it. We've got tiles in there, uh, floor to ceiling. 
and I, I kept with the tiles and then I just used other um, accessories and hardware to basically make the statements, the bold statements that I wanted to make. So, but the idea really, if you're looking to renovate your powder room, is really to use bold uh, walling and flooring and uh, because it's so small you can afford to splurge a little bit on those things like tiles and like expensive tiles and and wallpaper if you've got the budget for it so um you i want to go you want to go bold in there you want to look you want to use nice accessories you want to make a statement with your accessories and your hardware and you want to make sure that um you want to make sure that when your guests in there uh, your guests are in there they are uh, catered to they've got everything that they need in there and basically on my wish list what i wanted when i started this process was number one a mirror because we didn't have a mirror in there number two was a vanity because i didn't have a vanity in there so i didn't have anywhere to store any of my items i wanted a nice basin I uh, wanted a nice faucet and then I wanted sconces. I wasn't able to get sconces. Sconces is those lights that you have on the wall, like e on either side of the mirror or on top. I wasn't able to get that. Mm, I just, I, I was a bit concerned about taking out tiles to put in uh, uh, wiring for the electricity and for the sconces. So I didn't explore that option. I just left that. But I'm okay with the lighting in there. I'm probably just going to put in um, a chandelier or a nice light once I, once I find something that I like. Hello, Quincy. Say hi to everyone. Say hi to the Rafikis. So yeah, oh guys, without further ado, let me let me get, get into the video. This is actually taking too long now. Let's get into the video and I'll show you guys what I did. And please comment below. Let me know what you like, what you'll be trying in your own powder room. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Mwah! So this is how it looks like. Let me give you an overview, and I hope the lighting is okay. Uh, it's a cloudy day. It's raining outside, so we don't have any sunlight. But I hope this will suffice. So this is how you enter from here. Let me just go back. You enter from here. That's the door, and it's a really small space. And I'm just going to walk you through all the things that I changed. A lot of my favorite items are. So over here we've got this big round mirror. This I had made and I wanted something with an impact because there wasn't a mirror in here before so I wanted something that was going to take up a lot of space and so I had this made because I couldn't find the measurements and it would have cost me too much to go and purchase it. So your girl hooked herself up and got this gorgeous mirror and it's round so I like the roundness of it and I basically followed that through with a lot of the other stuff in here and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, then just to follow up on that, I also got a round basin. So this basin is a marble basin. This is marble stone, original. And I had this made too. You won't believe how much this cost me. Only $750. I posted it in my stories once and I also linked the guy who made it for me. It's a lovely Zimbabwean guy called Dixon. And he produces these from Usapos so and then he just uh, sends it over to you. $750 and I am obsessed with it. I think I would have paid a lot more money if I had gotten it elsewhere. So this is just the finish and I really like it. It just adds a nice natural element in here. Number three that I got in here that is new is my faucet. So this is my gold faucet. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll remember that I was looking for this. Uh, it was definitely on my wish list. I wanted to just get something more exciting. I had a silver one here and I wanted to get gold and I looked around, I went everywhere. Couldn't find a gold faucet that would fit the style of this room. So I ended up purchasing this on Amazon and I'll link it below. It wasn't so much. I think, how much did I pay for this? I don't think it was more than 50 pounds. Not even, if even at 50. It was quite affordable because, uh, and I'm saying affordable in relation to what I was finding here and what I was finding online at other shops. So I'm really happy with this. 
so it gives you warm water and cold water and this is really the thing that I needed in here to just set the tone because I wanted whites and golds in there and I wasn't willing to compromise so I've got that gold faucet there and then the other thing that we got in here that we changed was the vanity so this is the vanity uh, I think I, I sh you guys just saw in the video before this um, sorry not in the video but in the in the pictures before this how this bathroom used to look like the type of vanity that was in here so I didn't have any storage it was just this glass thing with these iron things that was holding it together and I couldn't store anything so I didn't like that and that's really primarily the reason why I decided to renovate this bathroom I needed some storage I needed a beautiful vanity just something that would be contemplated and fitting with the rest of the deco in this house so we had this made Joe again my go-to guy Joe came in and he made it and the countertop is not stone I felt like if I put in stone it would be competing with a stone uh, with a marble sink so I got it this is just normal wood and it's this glossy glossy wood that I like to use so that's how the, the countertop looks like and then the drawers and this is how the wood looks like it's nice and textured which I love and then again couldn't find gold knobs anywhere in Vento so I went online got these on Amazon and yeah and they're round just to go again with the roundness of the basin with the roundness of the mirror and that's how it looks like so I'm really loving those and they just add a nice touch and they pick up in the gold uh the third thing okay so it's the mirror one basin two vanity three what else did we change in here okay number four so i've got some holes here in the wall so this is where my my former what is this thing called this this thing that i had here before this one was silver it was in here so we removed that so i need to close these up so i got a gold one as well so the idea was just basically to make sure that my items my hardware was speaking to each other so i got this in gold also from Amazon and as you can see I like to have this my toilet paper like that it just looks cute <laughs> so yeah so I just got that as well just to make sure that we are touching and uh, sticking with the gold theme in here and then what else okay let me show you guys the top of my vanity now so this is the most exciting part this is where I really got to style and decorate it the way I want it just an overview let me just Stand here for a little bit, okay. Okay, so this is how the vanity table looks like. This is how it looks like on the top. Let's start over here. So I've got a full orchid over here in a vase. So the first way that you can start any space is by bringing in some plants, flowers, or foliage just to make it a bit more feminine. So I've got this full orchid plant here, just a single stem, and then I've got it in this gorgeous textured vase that I got from Mr. Price and I just love how it brings it all together and then we've got the sink like I mentioned before the marble sink we've got our gold faucet and then I've got these little trays on which I put all of my items on so let me show you this one so these I you would have seen in my previous post not my previous one but uh, a video I did last year where I did a home deco haul I purchased these I think from Zara home and I just love how it's just it's unusual it's quirky i love how you have to press this down to get the soap out and i'm using clear soap clear soap is the only one that would have worked if you have colorful soap then you can see through it and it doesn't look nice so to go with the aesthetic the clean aesthetic of this i use clear soap and i'll show you now when i open the drawers what kind of soap i use so this is just basically the soap dispenser and i really love that and then i've just got this is the bathroom spray we use the room is i think this is from um, from Woolies and then I've got some hand cream and the nail cream and then just some lip balm uh, this is also from Woolies so Woolies is really my go-to place for these kind of things all these little things that I have in my bathroom Woolies and then this is just perfume in case my guests is not smelling too good and they just want to refresh themselves so I usually have a female and a male perfume in here and they can just refresh themselves uh, when they're in the powder room so the tray the little tray i purchased this from at home uh, i'll also link it below if i can find it on the at home website and i think it was 150 dollars so it's a lacquer a lacquer uh, uh, box wooden box and i just bought two of them this i bought from the section where you find their home office items so it would be something you use in your home office but it works pretty nice in here so on the second one you guys know i love my candle in the bathroom or in a toilet just so that I can light it when my guests are over, it makes this, the bathroom smell nice. 
So that's what we've got in there. And then I've just got this beautiful coral. This, where did I buy this? I actually got this from my sister-in-law, I think. Yes, I got this from Mindambe. She had this ornament that was made with all these shells and they started falling apart and I went and I just got them all from her. But I think you can also find them in Chinatown. I'm actually trying to find a supplier so I can start selling these too. But this is really just to bring a relaxed and a calm and a peaceful ambience into the bathroom. So I have corals all over my house. I have them mostly in the bathrooms just to bring that calmness into the space and I love them. They're also very decorated. And over here, I've got this tray. I purchased this ages ago from at home. So this is just a gold glass tray and in here I've basically placed all my hand towels. So if you follow me, you know that I am so... I, 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 I can't deal with that towel that you know usually you hang here, that single towel that people have in their bathrooms that everybody should use. I just think it's so unhygienic because you don't know where the person came from and everybody's using these towels. Like how often do you allow people to use it before you, you wash it, right? So I think it's more sanitary to do it this way. It also just looks more aesthetically pleasing. So you have your hand towel, you take it, you use it once, then after that you throw it in this little bin and you can see we've got some in here and then my lady knows to wash them during wash day. So this bin I got from Mr. Price, it was $50. It's white, it's clean and it just goes with everything else and then I just put this little orchid uh, flower here just to make it look nice and pretty. So that's basically how the vanity counter looks like. Let me just give you one last overview before we move on to the inside of my vanity cabinets. One, this is how the first drawer looks like. So if you know me, if you've been following me and watching my videos, you'll know that I try and think of anything and everything as far as um, accommodating my guests and as far as making my people feel comfortable is concerned. So over here I've got some supplies. I'll first start with this box. So this is a box that I bought from at home. Um, it's just, it's really cute. I've got two of them and you can use it anyway because initially in the living room and I brought it in here because I needed some place to put my extra uh, hand towels. So I've just got some extra hand towels in here. And then this is just something we got as a corporate gift when we went to a Chinese function and I thought it looked cute in here. So this is just where I put my extra hand towels. So when they're finished there, then my lady knows to just get some more from here and then we just refill it. And yeah, so I keep them in that box. And then, you know I got you. Um, I try to make sure that I've thought of everything that my guests could possibly need when they're here. So in this, this container, this drawer set I also got from at home. So at the top here, I've just got some cotton cotton pads. I mean, whatever you need them for, they're here. And then over here in this drawer, I've got some panty liners, some tampons, some earbuds, just to get, just in case my guest comes in here and they realize that, oops, okay, something started and I've got some pads in here. So the idea is just to make sure that you think of all possibilities and all eventualities of what your guest might need. So the idea is always to think two steps ahead of them and make sure you provide for them. So that's what's in that drawer, the first drawer. The second drawer over here, I've just got all my extra supplies. So this is the soap that I use, also from Moody's. My favorite, and this is the Long Market Peony and Honey Hand Wash. I love this, it smells amazing. So this is what's left off after I, um, I, I filled up my, my soap jar, my soap dispenser, and this is how much? 55 yeah 150 no 55 dollars not bad so this is a refill i basically just top this up when it's done and then i've just got some extra hand cream in case the other one finishes and then i've got this little jar here and this will just contain some mints so maybe the guest comes in here and they realize that oops my breath that garlic that they had at dinner was too much and they can just help themselves to a little mint over here over here i've got a tissue box so in case they need to blow their nose and it's just a plant, a uh, sort of flower. And then I've also got some extras. This is extra soap. I bought this at Willie's. This is a glass bottle, which I love. So uh, this you can use. I think this is recyclable because it's glass. So this is the only one I would probably use with the other one. If anything had to happen to the other one or the soap ran out, I could just change it out for this one. I love it because it's glass and just the color scheme. And then this is also just extra uh, room mist in case the other one runs out then we'll replenish with this one and then I've just got a bar of soap here and then 
these are the little dishes I got from uh, AJ Home and we just got some extra cotton pads in there in case they ever run out so that's the second one okay now over to the third drawer which is the big drawer I've just got some extra supplies in here so this is where we keep our toilet paper I hate going to the bathroom and running out of toilet paper and having to call somebody from the toilet to bring you toilet paper. It's happened to me many times. My husband <laughs> just totally hates it. So I thought it would be a good idea to just have as much extra toilet paper as we could in here. Actually, I actually need to come and stock this up. So the idea is always to have six extra rolls of toilet paper in here at any given time. So that's where we keep that. And then I've got a mirror here. So initially, this is one of those magnifying mirrors. I think it's times one and then times two on the other side. I had initially planned to keep this on top of the vanity table, but it was too much and the gold didn't really fit the gold of the faucet, so I'm just keeping it in here. But if a client, I swear, not a client, if a guest wanted to like maybe retouch their makeup or anything, then I would just refer them to this and they could just go inside here and do their makeup using these magnifying mirrors. And then uh, this is just the toilet fresh powder that we use in there. And then I don't know what those are called, but it's those things you put in the toilet basin to make the water blue and then just some extra soap so yeah so this is really just storage for stuff that i need in here uh, and anything that my guests could possibly need so over in the corner here i'm now recording from i'm basically where the toilet is where the toilet seat is this is the view from there so i'm thinking i'm probably going to put like some artwork over there so thinking about what kind of artwork would work there. And uh, so the whole room is tiled from floor to top, from bottom to top. Um, so there's not much I can do. If I had it my way, I would have probably put some wallpaper in here, but this still works, this is still okay. It still is much better than it looked before. And I just put a plant in the corner. This is a full plant. I bought this at home a couple of years ago. Um, I think it was, I remember it was expensive. I think it was 1,200 or something. But I love it, I like the colour and it just fills up the space nicely because that area was quite empty before I put that there. So it's just nice and contemplative and also bringing in a nice natural element into the room. So this is how the ceiling looks like. That's the light. I'm also thinking I'm going to put a chandelier. I'm going to replace that with a chandelier soon. As soon as I find what I'm looking for, I'll know what it is and then I'll replace that with a chandelier. Um, Okay, so that's the light. I'm now on the opposite side of the room. That's the window. That's the toilet. And then I've got another candle over here. You can never have too many candles in your bathroom. 